Hey guys, today I'm going to be making one of my holiday favorites, Basso Stolma. So for that you're going to need chickpeas, beans, and lentils. And for this I just eyeballed it. It was one can, about a cup and a half, and two cups, but it's all to your liking, it doesn't really matter. Some pickled cabbage. For this, we, we used store-bought, but you could use any kind. My mom has a video actually on pickling, so you could use that. Or you could just use like leftover pickle juice and stick some fresh cabbage in there and it's perfect. For our sojarats, for our onion saute, we're going to need some tomato paste, some pepper paste, and of course onion. And we're going to use our seasonings, which are coriander, some dried herbs, some fresh herbs, dill, parsley, salt, pepper, red pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. Whew, that was a mouthful. Anyways, we're gonna start off with our onion saute. And you're just gonna let that saute for a bit. While this is sauteing, I'm going to cut up the fresh herbs and throw them in there. So just going to do. And the parsley. We're going to turn down the heat a bit. Keep it on, keep warm. And we're going to add in all of our pepper paste, our tomato paste, and our seasoning. Now I forgot to mention how important it is to use basil, especially dry basil, for this basso stolma, because that's, that's what brings this all together. So I finished up with my paste and I'm just going to pour it on top of this. And then you're going to just mix that in and incorporate it all together. But before that, you're going to want to add your half cup of balhur. This is the number one grind. It's the most, the thinnest grind. I'm just gonna eyeball that, so. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna incorporate that. Finished up my mixing, and now we're gonna get started on these, on the rolling and putting it into the bowl that we have here so I'll just show you guys like this get this stuff out of my way it's good to use one of these a little bit flat because I'm not gonna be making a lot of them I'm gonna make a bunch of big ones so this is perfect for that but you're gonna need to find all the imperfected ones and line them up right here just so just in case it doesn't get all, it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So you're just gonna do that. And then you're gonna pick out your favorite leaves and then you're gonna get to roll. I picked one of these out so I could show you guys, but look at this one. This is huge. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so we're just gonna grab this. And it has a spine on it and sometimes they cut it for you, but there's still a bit left on there, so I'm just gonna cut like that. Get most of it off. You're gonna grab as much as you can fill into here. Just like that. And most of the time these have holes in it, so you're just gonna, you can patch them up if you want. Makes it a lot easier for you to roll if everything's nice and tidy. I'm gonna do that, just like dolma. Gonna roll this. Like that. 
Make sure it's nice and tight like that. It's like a burrito. There you go. You just put it right there. And then you do the rest of them. So look at these. These weren't, these cabbages weren't that good, but if you get good cabbage, like this is gonna be great for you to fold because this was pretty difficult for me to roll them all. I had to use like scraps and stuff like that, but that's how you do it. So you're gonna boil some water, pour it over just enough so it covers the bottom. And you leave some space for your prunes. And I'm gonna try these dry blueberries. So we're just gonna put them in like that. You could also put like dried cranberries, any dried fruit would be awesome for this. You're gonna grab your plate. I'm gonna press down just a little bit. I'm gonna put this on the stove. give me this really good idea to wrap the basu stolma stuff with lettuce so I wanted to show you guys that too you just grab any kind of lettuce roll it up just a little bit flip them over because it's easier in your stuff and this is like raw pasta stoma it's actually pretty good I had one while I was waiting for the water to boil so you just do that so it took about 15 minutes to get this fully cooked and look at that let me just cut into it and show you guys oh wrong way This is what it's supposed to look like. I love this stuff. I'm gonna do a taste test for you guys because I don't mind it being hot. I've eaten it. I've, I'm very impatient. I don't wait at all, especially for tolma. So I've kind of gotten used to the hot version of this. We're just gonna try it now. Cut a little bit more. Awesome. I wanted to add a little bit of olive oil, but I got too excited. It adds a nice flavor to it. Just like that. As always, I'm gonna save this for later. I'm gonna talk to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this because. For sure I did. I'm gonna be eating this all day today and tomorrow. Especially tomorrow, because that's when it's the best. It's like borscht and tolma is the best the second day. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys leave me a comment and tell me tell me what to do. Like there's lots of Christmas like festive foods. I've been wanting to try like the basu tolma. I wanted to do this for a long time already. And it came just in time for Christmas. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.